Okay, now we're live. Okay. Um. Hello, everybody. How are you guys doing today? Uh, today's video, I'm going to basically give you uh, basically a breakdown of how everything works, your universe, your reality, and we're going to tie it all up into making uh, everything collaborate and, and work for you guys, all right? So um, let's begin. All right. So we're all aware about everything is created in the universe through what is known as energy, uh, vibration, and certain frequencies, okay? So we have energy, we have vibration, and we have frequencies, and that creates and makes up our entire universe and our entire, and our, and our entire existence. Uh, let me speak about the scientific part uh, first for a minute. Let me talk about uh, scientific, the quantum physics, the quantum mechanical part of how everything works in order to manifest and make everything created or make everything that you desire to come to pass. You have to know the laws of the universe and you have to be a little bit familiar with what is known as uh, quantum mechanics. Okay? Quantum mechanics is basically the study of the smallest particles of matter. Matter is the uh, smallest particles. You have the uh, the nuclear force, the atomic force, okay, those are parts of F matter and atom. Um, if you guys can hear me, because I have these, this Bluetooth thing, maybe you can give me a thumbs up, because I'm not sure if it's working properly, but if you can hear, uh, let me know by giving me a thumbs up, that you can uh, hear everything that's on the set. Okay, so I'm going to talk about the scientific part first. All right, so, so you can't hear me? All right, let me take the uh, Bluetooth off then. Get this off. Okay. Uh, how about now? Can you hear me now, right? Let me know if you guys can hear me. Okay. Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. Turn the volume up so you guys can, can hear better. All right, guys. So this. So let's talk about the uh, scientific part, the quantum part of how everything is created in our reality. All right. And um, um, I see Melissa. You're watching. Can you hear me? If you can hear me, give me a thumbs up. All right. Let me know if you guys can hear me. Okay. So let's talk about the scientific part, all right. So we know through quantum physics or quantum mechanics, our universe is created and is comprised basically of energy. Uh, good, so you guys can hear me good. So we know through quantum mechanics and the scientific part that our universe is predominantly made up of energy, vibration, and frequencies, all right. So I'm going to start off with the science part first to get you guys a little um, insight because in order to create the reality that you desire, you have to have an awareness or you have to know how everything is created in your universe and when you have the understanding of how everything is created then your mind works better in response to the creation process all right so let me begin so quantum mechanics is basically the study of the smallest quantum particles of atoms quantum particles include the strong strong nuclear force the weak nuclear force and atomic an atomic uh, decay force. These particles are made up of small, small particles. We have known as atom, atoms, protons, electrons, neutron, neutrons. And if you go even smaller, these, these atoms have what they call quarks. Quarks are the smallest particles. And let's go, if, if we go even smaller, we come to energy. So we know everything is comprised of energy. All right, so we have two physicists. Basically, I would like to call them the father of, phys of physicists. Uh, one we're all aware of is uh, Albert Einstein. Uh, he created the, the theory of relativity. And the other one you probably haven't heard of, his name is Niels Bohr. Okay? So basically, Niels Bohr discovered that these quantum particles or these atoms, they behave at what we call duality. Duality means they behave as waves and they behave as an event. Okay? So what that basically means is that the universe is created in a wave of probability. A wave of probability means that, that that atom exists in a way that all 
outcome or all probable outcome exist at one time. So that means every outcome, every instant that you can think of or desire, there's already a version of existence, all right? Now, Albert Einstein found it's very, very difficult to believe. Matter of fact, he said in re response to this, he says to Niels Borg, he says, God doesn't play dice with the universe. So he says, God doesn't work on chances, okay? Uh, Niels Bohr responded back to Albert Einstein saying, stop telling God what to do. Okay, so basically, Albert Einstein, Niels Bohr, they believed, Niels Bohr believed that, proven that these particles behave as wave and as a duality, meaning that they exist as, as an event, an actuality, and, an event, and they exist as chances. Okay, so that's the quantum part. Now, the other thing about the quantum part particles are these. These particles vibrate. They vibrate at certain frequencies. Okay, frequencies you would liken to a radio station where you have your different frequencies you tune into. So we these particles, they vibrate in certain frequencies. And these frequencies, you can tune into these frequencies. And once you match the frequency, then you automatically attract like frequencies. Because everything is magnetically energetic, including you and I, we're all energy. So the universe is energy, so you attract what you put out, and it comes into your existence, all right? That's, that's the first part I want to talk about. Made me a little note here so I can just outline what, I, what else do I want to, what else I want to include. So we know that the phys, that's the physics part, that's the science part. I don't want to get too, too crazy or too uh, deep in the, um, the science part, all right? One thing I want to say too, now look. If you change the way you look at things, the things you look at will start to change, right? I'll repeat that again. So basically, if you change the way you look at things, the things you look at will start to change. What does that mean? That basically means that once you focus and see things the way you would like them to become or you like them, you like to be, they like to desire it, then the things you look at change. Because remember, quantum physics, these particles, these atomic particles, or I like to call them quantum, or quanta energy waves, they vibrate and they oscillate. The mean is that they, they're in three dimensions, all right? We live in three dimensions. Actually, we have four dimensions of reality that we exist. Time and space is considered a dimension. So these quantum particles, you can influence them, all right? There's an experiment done, it's called the double slit experiment where scientists shot, shoot particles of light or photons into a slit. And make a, just to make it uh, easier, once, you, once, you, once you're not looking, once you're not observing these particles, they behave in accordance to the way you want them to. But once you detach your attention from them, they behave as waves. Waves of probabilities, meaning waves of different chances or encounters that it, it can happen into, okay? And uh, recently, scientists, science found that you can actually have an influence on these quantum particles. You can collapse the particles to behave in accordance with your observation, meaning that your consciousness, your mind, can have an influence on these particles to create a certain desire that you wish to accomplish, all right? So that's the quantum, that's the, that's the scientific part. So knowing that, knowing that, that now, knowing that, you know now you have control over the reality. You can actually influence and uh, change these particles into uh, states that you want them to Cut, all right, so that's the part I want to touch on next. And okay, so we're done with us. I want to talk now. Let's talk about how your reality is actually created the, the, perce the perception you see. All right, so say this is how reality is created you have light, which is what I call a photon. These light are emitted, they go in through your sensory, your sensory notion, they go into your brain, into your cerebral cortex, where they are processed through. Your conscious, your subconscious, and we talked about the crit crit critical faculty. Or let's just call it a critical factor. The process through that critical factor, that critical factor determines if the event, the situation you're seeing is believable and it transfers out into your reality. So these light photons, so your brain brings in the light photons, you create a signal, you create a, the touches through your five senses, and the, the, the signal is then Percepted back out into your reality, and that's how you see your reality. So we have a key clue here that the mind, the brain, it starts everything. All right. Now, the creator of all this is known as your subconscious mind. Your subconscious mind has what is known as unlimited 
energy. It is connected to the universe or source energy or this quantum field of probabilities. Now here's a key point to consider. When I say quantum field of probabilities, what I'm, what I'm saying is that the universe exists as chances. There's a probability of every... Ch that's why you'll see... Let's do use a lottery. That's why you can see somebody that doesn't play the lottery or never played in his life and he goes and buys a ticket and he wins because that is a probability of chance. That's how we thought the universe was created. That is just a big chance. Remember, Albert Einstein says to Niels Bohr that God doesn't play dice with the universe and Niels Bohr responded back to Albert Einstein saying, stop telling God what to do. So, so the universe exists as these waves of probabilities, meaning that there's a version of you rich, a version of you poor, a version of you wealthy, whatever you want to say, but it all depends on what you focus your consciousness on. So if you focus on wealth, by manifesting um, riches, a uh, job house, then that will vibrate accordingly. But if you focus on lack or worry or doubt, fear, then guess what? That will also come into your existence more. But here's a key point that we discovered. God actually doesn't play dice with the universe. It doesn't actually work. It works both ways. Listen, you can either live in a universe, a creature reality by chance, and just go with the flow and hope for something to happen, or you can actually create it yourself and have an influence on the quantum particle. That means that you can collapse these quantum particles because remember, that's everything is made of these particles, including you and I, your energy. So you can actually collapse these quantum particles into creating your desired results. You can actually quite, um, collapse the particles to win, to win the lottery, to buy the house, to get the car. You don't have to worry about chance or hope or anything. But the key to do that is through your consciousness, your subconscious mind. And a lot of us, we go through our lives daily, we're not even aware of this process. So the key to create your reality is your consciousness. Your conscious mind collapses these quantum particles to create, to take that theory of probability into an actuality, all right? It takes the, the, uh, the probability of chance and it turns the chance into a definite actuality. And you do that through focus in your thoughts and your emotions. Once you do that, once you master that, then guess what? It comes into your reality as an existence, as, a, as something you can witness, something you can feel through your senses and through the brain. So that is very important. Let me repeat that again. The universe usually works in dual, it's called quantum duality, meaning that it exists in two states. You can either live in a universe of chance, which is the wave of probability, meaning that you can hope, wish, take a chance, you know, take luck, what do you would call it, and live your life by that, or you can actually create it deliberately. You can actually take control of your mind, use your, your subconscious, and create those quantum particles, have an influence on them, and turn them into your reality. You can use those quantum particles and turn them into a million dollars. You can turn it into a house, a car, even a mate. Whatever you desire, you can do. You don't have to use chance anymore. That's what was. That's what is misleading a lot of us. We live our lives by chance and hope and wish and, and, and this. Nope, you don't have to do that anymore. You have the control with your subconscious mind. But here's what you have to do. Through growing up, we have limiting beliefs in our subconscious mind. These beliefs are instilled, and they're not actual facts. They're just beliefs. So these beliefs are beliefs that hinder your potential. They stop you from manifesting your true heart's desire. Because limiting beliefs hold you back. They, they, they're like a block in your subconscious mind. And how you eliminate those limiting beliefs, I talked about it and I showed you. Uh, if you want, I could provide a link in the comment section on, on the affirmation. These are used through brainwave enhancement technology. Brainwave enhancement technology basically uses alpha, theta, gamma, and beta brainwave frequencies that goes directly into your subconscious mind rewires your brain for wealth, prosperity, or whatever you desire. You have to, let me repeat the key, you have to take advantage and use these if you want to see the full potential of your desires manifest. Open, wishing, seeing the thought, and, and putting the energy out is not going to do it alone, right? You have to start with those to clear those minds, and you have to use those affirmations. That is the missing link to open your subconscious. Okay, let's move on. Once you open your subconscious and you, you eliminate your limiting beliefs, then you're in the realm of, wow, magic I like to call it. Now everything starts to manifest. It starts to come in 
to your reality. Now, sometimes you put the energy out, you do the manifestation, you do everything, but yes, you, yet you still have a block. You still have resistance. A couple, comment, uh, a couple of you guys commented yesterday, I put everything out, I'm starting to see small results, but I'm still experiencing resistance or blockage, okay? What I want to say, the key is this. If you're manifesting your desires, you want to win the lottery, you, you're putting the energy out and you're doing everything. If you get exhausted or your energy, you feel drained, that means you are trying too hard. You're forcing, forcing create resistance. Manifestation is a simple process. We do it every day. It should be like riding a bicycle or it's, 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 you are, it's, it's an in-given talent that you are created with. So manifestation, you shouldn't have to exert a lot of energy to manifest. If you start to exert a lot of energy and you feel you're putting out too much energetic vibe, you're trying too hard. Okay, so you, you have to slow down and continue with the process. Okay, another, another way you can release the blocks if you're experiencing is known as meditation. Okay, let's talk about meditation. Meditation is not as complex as you think. I'm going to show you a simple way to meditate. Five minutes, you can do it every day. What, me what meditation is, let's use a metaphor. So you have a car. Your car takes the regular gas. Okay, the regular gas makes your car good. Meditation is actually like the supreme, the high premium gasoline. You put the high premium gasoline in your car, guess what? Your car performs a lot better, it's faster, it's quicker. That's what med meditation does. Meditation can actually bring your manifestations to you a lot faster because it clears the mind, it allows free flowing energy. And I'll give you a, a very secret tip on how to meditate. Basically what meditation is, is you can sit, if you're in an office in your house, just make sure you're in an elevated position with your legs straight out, all you have to do is basically just close your eyes and just feel yourself breathe. Feel yourself breathing, okay? And what you want to do is once you close your eyes and you feel yourself breathing, actually look in your mind's eye and see the breath coming in through your nostrils, going through your diaphragm, going into your stomach, and then exhaling out again. That's meditation. Just focus on your breathing. Clear everything else in your mind. Do it five minutes a day, five, whatever you can. That will clear the energy block and you can start to manifest your desires at a faster rate. So uh, meditation, again, is very easy. You sit in a relaxed position. You can listen to music. You breathe. You inhale. You exhale. And while you're doing both, just let the natural process go in and out and, and look, feel in your mind. See the energy going in through your nostrils, in through your body, coming out again. Repeat it and repeat it, repeat it, and boom, you'll, you'll manifest. Now there's another degree, a, a more uh, higher degree to manifest, okay? This involves your third eye, or what is known right here, it's called your pineal gland. Pineal gland, basically, that's the gland within your brain that controls your sleep, your sleep cycle, your mood. It, uh, it's, it is the one that has the melatonin in your brain that gives you a good, good mood, but it is, it is also known as the soul, it means the authentic you. The pineal gland, once you activate your pineal gland, your third eye, when you open your third eye, then you are now in the realm of super conscious creative credibility, meaning that you are on the verge. Once the pineal gland is activated, it is a direct link along with your subconscious into the universe to even bring things a lot faster into your, into your reality. And what the pineal gland, I'll give you an example. I could give you a simple technique to activate your pineal gland right now. I have, I have affirmations if you want to use them, but what you can do is you can lay in your bed or lay anywhere you want. And what you want to do is have your legs straight out, your up, your left hand on your side, and use your right hand because I'm holding my camera right now. So use your right hand, the, the finger that's closest to the thumb. Basically, what you do, want to do, you want to massage it, and you want to go in increments. You want to do it eight times, but in increments of 11 seconds. Okay, so you want to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Stop, and then do it seven more times. Close your eyes. This will activate your pineal gland. And once you activate your pineal gland, your third eye, then you are, you have the three components. You have the meditation. You have the pineal gland. These will release those blockages. This will release those negative uh, res residual energy then you can start to manifest. Now listen guys, you have to start looking as, as, as everything as energy. Now let's talk about the lottery, how to win the lottery. 
you have to look at the lottery in a totally different way. You cannot look at the lottery in, in numbers, all right? You have to start looking at them as frequencies. This is how you will win. This is how I've won. This is how you will continue to win. This is how you win a million dollars, ten million dollars. Because remember, money is energy. One dollar, two dollar. When you start to use these techniques and you start to open up your mind and your consciousness, you will start to win and you will start to win small amounts. And you will say to yourself, okay, I see myself winning these small amounts, but what do they mean? What it means is those small amounts are the is the are the universe. The universe is is letting you know that what you desire is possible and it is giving you showing you steps saying, hey look, you manifested five, you manifested ten. Now what? You can manifest a million. It's showing you that you are on the right track. So when you see those signs, that is a sign of encouragement for you to continue. That's how I started. I started winning five bucks, ten bucks, twelve bucks, thirteen bucks. Boom! Five grand, thirteen grand, twenty-three grand, sixty grand, one thousand. Oh, you name it. It just keeps coming and coming. That was happened to you. It will call it. It will have a snowball effect. All right. So that's the key to remember. So you want to focus. Now let's talk about how to become detached from the outcome. Detached means letting go and let your desires flow. Because once you put it out there, and you, you so the key is now here, guys. You use the affirmation, so you eliminate those limiting beliefs. Your mind is clear. You start your meditation. If you want to go ahead and open up your third eye, you open your third eye. I must warn you guys, once you open your third eye, it is going to take you to a new realm. You will start to have dreams. You will start to have um, visions. You start your special talents will start to come out if you haven't. You could be a clairvoyant. You could have um, manifestation um, realities in a different way. So these be careful. So when you open your third eye, expect to be awakened. Okay, the universe will start to show you things that you haven't seen before. You see sequence numbers. You see signs. Um, I could give you an example. I, I put a post on the other day about a gentleman that I met. Had a dream about his mom. I never met his mom ever. She told me some numbers to play was 353. She said, hey, tell Mark, the guy that you know you know 353 likes him. I, I heard it. I went ahead and I played the number for one day. And the next day I decided not. I was going to wait and play it in the evening. And I was driving on the highway. I live here in South Florida on the I-95. A Mustang curve pulled right in front of my car. Okay. And you know what the license plate was on that Mustang? It was 353. What are the chances of South Florida? I'm in a big, in a big highway. What are the chances of that particular car? Not just a car, but that particular car with that particular license plate. You know what the odds are of that? Nearly impossible. But that's how the universe works. The universe works through signs and synchronicities, and you can pick it up. So this car pulls right in front of me with 353 on the license plate. It was about 1245. The uh, the the cutoff time for the for the cash three was I think 1:30. I immediately pulled to a gas station because I took the sign and I heated and I played the number and I won a nice sum of money. So that's just giving an example of how the universe will work once you're open and you start to manifest your desires into coming. All right. Now let's talk about another theory here. Another another theory now known as law. It's called theory of critical the law of critical mass. Critical mass basically means the more you focus with intents and you have the detachment, not the indulgence, the detachment and limit the indulgence, then your desires will manifest at a faster rate due to the energetic vibration, the energetic potency will start to come together and then boom, it pops into your reality. This could be weeks, months instead of years, all right? Now how do you do, how do you make critical mass work for you? Work for you? This is how you make critical mass work. So you focus your desire you by using end thinking. End thinking means see the desires, the results you want now in the end. With the lottery, see yourself at the lottery office claiming the, that money. See yourself with buying or having what you want to, to get, the desires that you want to get with your lottery ticket. This is end thinking. Prepare to win. When I say prepare to win, if you know you're going to win, you're going to have a step. So let's say you want to win a large amount. Have in mind, go through your phone, have Google, have the tax account that you're going to use. Have a tax lawyer ready because when you win that large amount of money, you're going to be in a different tax bracket, okay? Have the tax attorney that you want to use. Have the tax lawyer ready that you want to use. 
another key point for you to, to manifest a lot faster is to write down the specific amount that you would desire to win. Have it in your phone and have that dream board. Have the you have to visualize. Visualize means have what you want and what you see yourself having. You can create a vision board within your smartphone, entitled or whatever you want to call it. But those are keys. Meditation. Write down the exact amount. Your vision board focus and see it every night. Clear those limiting beliefs. Open up your third eye if, if that's what you if you want to get in another level. And then become detached, meaning that this is what detachment means, guys. Living in your present situation, knowing what, that, what, what you have right now will change, but accept it knowing that your desired result is on the way. Okay? I could give, put it, I could give it to you in another example. You have a strong confidence, you have about a 100%, 99% sure, sh surety that the sun will rise tomorrow, so you never worry about it. You continue with your day, and you know tomorrow you look forward to the sun will rise. That's how you have to look at your desire or intention when, it, when it's manifested in your reality. You have to expect it to manifest, knowing that it will come to pass, but live in your present moment, knowing that better is on the way. That's, how, that's what detachment really is. And once you can do that, then you will start to manifest even at a faster rate, all right? So the quantum physics is the part we have to understand. You know, quantum physics is complicated, but I, I put it in a way that you guys can relate to. And, and, and I can make it very uh, simple for you. Okay, now this is another key I want to let you guys know. That I, I wanna, okay, a lot of failure to manifest or to create your reality is, you know, is based because you are taught the wrong way how to manifest, all right? Manifestation begins in the non-physical into the physical, okay? It doesn't start from the physical and then go, no, no. Everything is created by these subatomic, subatomic particles. And these subatomic particles are so small, you cannot see them. They're almost invisible. The only way you can really see them is through electron microscopes. But they are there, but they are so small that they are, no, are invisible. That is what the non-physical means, that the creation process begins with the collapsing those quantum particles into an actuality instead of a probability. Okay, an actuality means you take the chance, you, you take away the probability of chance, and you create it into your desired reality through what you call quant through your, your consciousness. All right. So I'm going to show you how you're going to manifest from the from the from the inside from the outside. And this is the key. You want to take certain words. Listen, I see it when I believe it. Okay. That has to go out of, get out of your vocabulary now. You have to start replacing it with this. <clears throat> Sorry. You believe you believe it, then you will see it. Okay. Not when I see it, I believe it. Because you, you will never see it. When you believe it, you will see it. Key point. When you believe it, you will see it. It means that when you believe it, or you have the, the thought and the focus, then guess what? It comes into your reality. Because 99% of the creation process, once you start to think and focus your thought, that law of attraction is the force that will bring it into your existence. So once you start to focus and you think of that thought, it has already been created in the non-physical. Non-physical means the quantum realm. Those particles will start to collapse. They will start to form into the things that you desire. And then it becomes into the physical realm where you experience it, okay? So that is where a lot of us go wrong. You start to do it from, you start to do it the, the wrong way. You start to do it from outside in. That's not how the universe works. The universe works from inside out okay very key inside out so from the non-physical into the physical okay that's what that's what manifestation works so non-physical means your thought is energy your emotions are energy you start to create from within your mind first and then it becomes into your reality as an experience okay that is a non-physical that's how the creation process works with the lottery so let's go talk about the lottery tickets okay so you want, you desire to win the lottery, you buy your tickets. Keep, keep this in mind. You do not have to buy a lot of tickets to win. It takes one ticket to win. This is what happens. Once you start to get aligned, then you get into the realm of your higher self or your intuition. And this starts to lead and take charge. You'll get the hunch to go buy the ticket. You'll, you'll, it'll tell you buy one or two. But many of my, the many winners that I've gotten, that I've got manifested, were only from a two dollars, a dollar. I had one ticket for five dollars. It was a lotto with uh, four numbers and uh, five numbers. That was like four thousand five hundred. That's only five dollar quick pick. But every every other of my winnings 
for a $1 ticket and $2 tickets. All right, so you do not have to buy a lot. If you have the budget and you want to spend and you feel you can do that, but you don't have to, all right? You can buy two or three a month. There's a lady in 2007, her name is Cynthia Strafford. She won the, the Mega Million Jackpot for $112. She only bought three tickets a month, and she manifested it by writing down the exact amount. She meditated, for, and she took her four months to do it. She meditated every night. She visualized, and guess what? Four months, she had a number. She had a specific amount that she wanted, okay? And then when the jackpot was up to 112, that's when she played it because she said, okay, that's the number I visualized. A lot of the jackpot was 112 million. She bought one ticket and she won 112 million dollars using her consciousness, okay? She created through her subconscious. She meditated. She cleared her energy block. It took her only four months, three tickets a month. That's all. So that's how you want to, that's how you guys have to start looking at the lotto. Don't look at it as buying numbers or this number match, look at it as a frequency, okay? You're matching the energetic frequency. The key is this, have the specific amount you intend to win. If you do not have a specific amount you intend to win, the universe will start to give you random amounts. You may get 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 10,000, but that's why you have to have a specific amount of money that you want to bring into your desired reality, okay? One other point I wanna talk about, let me start here that I want to touch on, okay? We talk about how your reality is created and the attachment and probability. Okay, now let's talk about how you change those uh, quantum particles <clears throat> from probability into actuality. So we, we talk about these, these quantum particles, okay? We talk about these quantum energetic particles. They're photons, light, they're energetic particles that we to create our reality. The reason a car, a house, food looks different is because these particles are arranged in a different in different stages to create that that reality, that image. But they are all made from the same particles, all right? So how you collapse from the wave of probabilities into a wave of actuality is your consciousness. You use your mind, you use your subconscious to create it. The conscious part of your mind is is is, is known as the I'll put it to you this way. So you have the conscious, the subconscious, and you have that critical factor, what we talked about, okay? They have, you get those three in line, boom, you're in alignment. You see synchronicity.